Welcome everyone, it's me, Brother Scott, bringing you another uh, daily Bible reading, and we are continuing through the Numbers, uh, the Book of Numbers, and we'll be in chapters 18 through 20 today. And if you uh, have not started reading the Bible on your own time, I encourage you to do that and study it and uh, find your own Bible reading each and every day uh, as you uh, go through your day, try to find some time to read God's Word and get into the Bible and study it and read it for yourself. Amen. All right. So, uh, as always, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he is the only one that can save your soul, because what he did on the cross was not in vain. He did it because that is the only way that one can have eternal life. If there was many, many ways to do it, then what he did on the cross was pretty much uh, not even... Uh, worth uh, doing if there's other ways that you could be saved but he knew that that was the only way to have eternal life so praise the Lord for that and now let us get into chapter 18 and verse 1 says and the Lord said unto Aaron thou and thy sons and thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary and thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood, and thy brethren also of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of thy father, bring thou with thee, that they may be joined unto thee, and minister unto thee. But thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness, and they shall keep thy charge, and the charge of all the tabernacle. Only they shall not come nigh the vessels of the sanctuary and the altar, that neither they nor ye also die. And they shall be joined unto thee, and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation for all the service of the tabernacle. And a stranger shall not come nigh unto you, and ye shall keep the charge of the sanctuary and the charge of the altar, that there be no wrath any more upon the children of Israel. And I, behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. Uh, to you they are given as a gift for the Lord, to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Therefore thou and thy sons with thee shall keep your priest's office for everything of the altar, and with all, or within the veil, and ye shall serve. I have given you uh, your priest's office unto you, as a service of gift, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Behold, I also have given thee the charge of mine heave offerings, of all the uh, hallowed things of the children of Israel. Unto thee have I given them by reason of the anointing, and to thy sons by an ordinance for ever. This shall be thine of the most holy things, reserved from the fire. Uh, every oblation of theirs, every meat offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs, and every trespassing offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for thee and for thy sons. In the most holy place shall, shalt thou eat it, every male shall eat it. It shall be holy unto thee, and this is thine, the heave offering of their gift, with all the wave offerings of the children of Israel. I have given them unto thee, and to thy sons, and to thy daughters, with thee, by a statute for ever. Every one that is, a, is clean in thy house shall eat of it, all the best of the oil, and all the best of the wine, and of the wheat." the first fruits of them which they shall offer unto the Lord, them have I given thee. And whatsoever is first ripe in the land, which they shall bring unto the Lord, shall be thine. Every one that is clean in thine house shall eat of it. <clears throat> Every thing devoted in Israel shall be thine. Everything that openeth the matrix in all flesh which they uh, bring unto the Lord, whether it be of men or beasts, shall be thine. 
nevertheless, the firstborn of man shall thou surely redeem, and the firstling of unclean beasts shalt thou redeem, and thou that are to be redeemed from a month old shalt thou redeem, according to thine est estimation, for the money of five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary, which is twenty giras. But the firstling of a cow, or the firstling of a sheep, or the firstling of a goat, thou shalt not redeem. They are holy. Thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and shalt burn their fat for an offering made by fire, for a sweet savor unto the Lord. Uh, and the flesh of them shall be thine, as the wave uh, breast, and as the right shoulder are thine. All the heave offerings of the holy things, which the children of Israel offer unto the Lord, have I given thee, and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, by a statute for ever. It is a covenant of salt for ever before the Lord, unto the, uh, thee and to thy seed with thee. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am the part, and thine, I am thy part, and thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in, uh, in Israel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Neither must the children of Israel henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall do the uh, service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, that among the children of Israel they have no inheritance. But the tithes of the children of Israel, which they offer as an heave offering unto the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore I have said unto them, Among the children of Israel they shall have no inheritance. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thus speak unto the Levites, and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them for your inheritance, then ye shall offer up an heave offering of it for the Lord, even a tenth part of the tithe. And this your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you, as though it were the corn of the threshing floor, and as the fullness of the winepress. Thus ye uh, also shall offer an heave offering unto the Lord of all your tithes, which ye receive of the children of Israel. And ye shall give, therefore, the Lord's uh, heave offering to Aaron the priest. Out of all your gifts ye shall offer every heave offering of the Lord, of all the best thereof, even the hollow part thereof, at, out of it. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, When ye have heaved the best thereof from it, then it shall be counted unto the Levites as the increase of the threshing floor, and as the increase of the winepress. And ye shall eat it in every place, ye in your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the congregation. And ye shall offer, and ye shall bear no sin by reason of it, uh, when ye have heaved from it the best of it. Neither shall ye pollute the holy things of the children of Israel, lest ye die. Chapter 19, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer uh, without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke, and ye shall give her unto Eleazar the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face, and Eleazar the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, 
and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times, and one shall burn the heifer uh, in his sight, her skin and her flesh and her blood with her dung shall he burn, and the priest shall take uh, cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes, and he shall bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp, and the priest shall be unclean until the even. And he that burneth her shall wash his clothes in water, and bathe his flesh in water, and shall be unclean until the even. And a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer, and lay them up without the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a uh, purification uh, for sin. And he that gathereth the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes, and be unclean until the even. And it shall be unto the children of Israel, and unto the stranger that sojourneth among them, for a statute for ever. He that toucheth the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. He shall purify himself with it on the third day, and on the seventh day he shall be clean. But if he purify not himself the third day, then the seventh day he shall not be clean. Mm. Whosoever toucheth the dead body of any man that is dead, and purifieth not himself, defileth the tabernacle of the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from Israel, because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be unclean. His uncleanness is yet upon him. This is the law, where a man dieth in, the te in a tent. Also that cometh into the tent, and all that is in the tent shall be unclean seven days. And every open vessel, which hath no covering bound upon it, is unclean. And whosoever toucheth one, of one that is slain with a sword in the open fields, or a dead body, or a bone of a man, or a grave, shall be unclean seven days. And for an uncleanness, or, and for an unclean person, they shall take of the ashes of the burnt heifer of purification for sin, and running water shall be put thereto in a vessel. And a clean person shall take hyssop, and dip it in the water, and sprinkle it upon the tent and upon all the vessels, and upon the persons that were there, and upon him that touched a bone, or one slain, or one dead, or a grave. And the clean person shall sprinkle upon the unclean on the third day, and on the seventh day, and on the seventh day he shall purify himself, and wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and shall be clean at even. But the man that shall be unclean, and shall not purify himself, that soul shall be cut off from among the congregation, because he hath defiled the sanctuary of the Lord. The water of separation hath not been sprinkled upon him. He is unclean. And it shall be a perpetual statute unto them, that he that sprinkleth the water of separation shall wash his clothes. Uh, and he that toucheth the water of separation shall be unclean until even. Verse 22. And whatsoever the unclean person toucheth shall be unclean, and the soul that toucheth it shall be unclean until even. Verse, or chapter 20. Chapter 20, verse 1. Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, into the desert of Zin in the first month, and the people abode in Kadesh, and Miriam died there, and was buried there, and there was no water for the congregation, and they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. And the people chode with Moses, and spake, saying, Would God that we had died 
uh, when our brethren died before the Lord? And why have ye brought up this, the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness, that we and our cattle uh, should die there? And wherefore have ye made us to come up out of Egypt, to bring us in unto this evil place? It is no place of seed, or of figs, or of vines, or of pomegranates, neither are, is there any water to drink. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they fell upon their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. So here we go. Uh, God's telling him to speak unto the rock, not to smite it again. But Moses is about to do the wrong thing. <laughs> All because he gets mad and uh, loses his temper with the people. And so this can be a, a warning for all of us. So here we go. And it shall, um, he says, uh, And speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water. And thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said to them, Hear now, ye rebels, much must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. So there you go. He just uh, he just destroyed the type of Jesus because uh, this is supposed to be a picture of Jesus to be smitten once and die once for our sins, not to not to be uh, struck upon twice. And so Moses just ruined that type, and uh, all because he got upset with the people instead of listening to the Lord. And doing what the Lord said. So again we can take heed to all um, that. When we tend to get upset with uh, other believers. Um, so there you go. Alright so he says here. And Moses lifted up his hand. And with his rod he smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly. And the congregation drank. And their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron. Because ye believed me not. There you go. How often do we not believe the Lord when he tells us something? To sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. This is the water of Mirabah, because the children of Israel strove with the Lord, and he was uh, sanctified in them. And Moses sent messengers from Kadesh unto the king of Edom, Thus saith, uh, saith thy brother Israel, Thou knowest all the travail that hath befallen us, how our fathers went down into Egypt, and we have dwelt in Egypt a long time. And the Egyptians vexed us and our fathers. And when we cried unto the Lord, he heard our voice, and sent an angel, and hath brought us forth out of Egypt. And behold, we are in Kadesh, a city in the uttermost of thy border. Let us pass, I pray thee, through thy country. We will not pass through the fields or through the vineyards, neither will we drink of the water of uh, the wells. Uh, we will go by the king's highway. We will not turn to the right hand nor to the left until we have passed thy borders. And Edom said unto him, Thou shalt not pass by me, lest I come out against thee with the sword. And the children of Israel said unto him, We will go by the highway, and if I and my uh, cattle drink of thy water, then I will pay for it. I will only, without doing anything else, go through on my feet. And he said, Thou shalt not go through. And Edom came, and, uh, came out against him, with uh, much people, and with a strong hand. 
Then Edom refused to give Israel passage through his border, wherefore Israel turned away from him. And the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, journeyed from Kadesh and came unto Mount Hor. And the children, or and the Lord, excuse me, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in Mount Hor by the coast of the land of Edom, saying, Aaron shall be gathered up, uh, shall be gathered unto his people, for he shall not enter into the land which I have given unto the children of Israel, because he rebelled against my word at the water of Mirbah. Take Aaron and Eleazar his son, and bring them up unto Mount Hor, and strip Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar his son, and Aaron shall be gathered unto his people, and shall die there. And Moses did as the Lord commanded, and they went up into Mount Hor in the sight of all the congregation. And Moses stripped Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar his son. And Aaron died there in the top of the mount. And Moses and Eleazar came down from the mount. And when all the congregation saw that Aaron was dead, they mourned for Aaron thirty days, even all the house of Israel. Hmm. So, there you have it. That was chapters 18 through 20. Amen. So, that will wrap up our daily Bible reading for today. And Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow for chapters 21 through 23. And, again, if you have not done your own Bible reading uh, guide yet. It's not too late. You can get started now. And uh, this is the one I have. I know it's backwards, but uh, there's many uh, ones you can use, different uh, charts you can use. You can either go uh, by the one I'm using throughout the whole year from beginning to end, or you can do it chronologically, or you can do a few uh, chapters from the Old Testament and do a Psalm and a Proverb reading throughout the day, sometime during the day, and then do some New Testament reading in the evening time before you go to sleep. Amen. So, lots of ways to do it. Amen. So, if you have not started, today is the day to get started in your Bible reading. And do your own studying and reading of the God, the Word of God. Amen. Alright, well, uh, till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. And you all have a great and wonderful rest of your Thursday. See you tomorrow, Lord willing, for both the devotional and the Bible reading. And so, praise the Lord for that. And so tomorrow's uh, devotional, I didn't give it on my other broadcast, but tomorrow's devotional will be titled, Shaken with the Wind. <laughs> so that will be a good topic. So hope you'll come back for that tomorrow also. Amen. Alright, well this is Brother Scott signing off, so see you all next time. Lord willing, bye bye for now.